Hi there! What about having these KPI cards on your Power App? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use them. I'm going to explain how they work. It's very simple because I'm going to provide you with the code so you can just copy and paste inside your app with a couple of clicks. I'm going to show where you can get those. Let's understand how they work, what they are, and then we are going to insert on your app. Okay, here I'm inside a Power App that I created just to demonstrate this. And here I have these four KPI cards. If we take a look at the first one, basically it's just an HTML code. I created an HTML code where I set some variables in the beginning of the code using the with function. And then we have the HTML later using these variables inside it. See how simple it is. Once you have this inside your app, if you copy and paste, then you can just change the information that you want. Let's say in this case, it's going to be client conversion. And I want to put 10%. See, now I just changed the text and the number. Okay, I also can change the background color. Let's say color dot orange is not going to look very good, but it's in here, see? Or I can change just the gradient colors for the numbers. I can change the numbers in here. So I can go to a color picker. I will copy the hexadecimal code, and then I'm going to put on gradient start. See that the color just started with that white color. And in the gradient end, I can just select another color. Let's get something reddish. Copy the hexadecimal and paste it. I'm going to paste here. Okay. See that the color just changed. Let me put white again in the background so it looks better. See, it's very simple to use this and you can use to create a screen that has information on your app. Here again, for the second one, is the same thing. All of them are HMLs, but these two are a little different and I'm going to explain soon. This one is just an, the same HML, but it doesn't have a big border like, like the first one. You don't need to worry. You will have the four of them and you can just use this one if you want. See, it's just a card. Again, I can provide the information, title, value, and the colors, and I added an icon on top of it, just to make it look like this KPI card with an icon. It looks very nice. And I will show also in the end of the video how to have access to more than 2000 icons that you can just copy and paste and use on your app. Okay, now for the next ones, basically what we have here, if we look at the tree view, we have a container, a horizontal one with two controls inside. Again, it's just the HTML and the icon, but now the icon is not floating like this one. Because imagine you want to put this container, this card inside another container to organize vertically or horizontally, then you need to have them inside the container and I already did that for you. So basically you can just resize, the things are going to resize here, depending on, on the size you want, okay? See. The second one, again, is again a container. In this case, the HTML comes first, and then I have the icon. I can again resize it and move all at once. Once you have them inside your app, you can also play with the configuration of these cards. For example, for this one, since it's a container and we have this icon inside it, I just set its alignment to the end, but I could align to the center, or I could align to the top, and that would easily change the position of the icon inside the container. Or I could basically just select the icon and move it to the left, so the icon is in the beginning again, and then I can just center it. For the text, in the HTML, if you understand a little bit about HTML, you can change the properties. See that this one is aligned to the right, and this one is aligned to the left while this one is aligned to the center. To change this is just a small change in the HTML codes. For example, here I can find where it is located 
And in my case, is in this justify content. I'm putting start, but if I put center, for example, it will justify vertically in the center. And for the text alignment, we have here the top, it's left, but I could put also center. See, now it just changed the position. You need to understand a little bit about HTML to do some changes. But the main changes are done through the variables that I just showed. Okay, now I'm going to show how you can get this very fast inside your app because you don't need to copy all the code that I showed in here. If you want to copy, it's fine, but I have a place where you can copy with one click. Before showing that, I just want to show that I have other types that I'm going to do videos also for those. See, um, progress bars, charts. I've created all of these components and then this KPI with percentage and I'm going to be sharing in the next videos. So make sure to subscribe and activate the notifications and also leave a message of support in the comments. That's very, very important to me. It makes me very happy every comment and subscriber counts and I will be inspired to record more videos. Please do that. Now let's see where we can get this. Well, we have a website called Power Apps Tools that I created with my friend Liu. And in this website, basically, we share snippets. You can also log in and share yours. If you open this URL that I'm showing here, I'll put in the pinned comment a link to the LinkedIn page of the site so you can follow and already access the URL so you don't miss also the new snippets that are going to appear. But you can go to Yomo snippets and then here we have all the snippets that people shared. You can also log in and send yours. Okay, mine is called this one KPI cards, HML KPI cards. If you click on it, you can see the information about it, what it is. And if you click on this button, copy YAML, you can then go to your Power Apps. Let's say you can create a new screen, a blank screen because you're going to paste all of them in here at once. Then just do a right click, paste and paste codes. And you will have all the controls inside it. So you can just change as I just showed. Now, the last thing that I mentioned is about the 2000 plus icons. In the same website, we have another tab called icons. And here we have all the bootstrap icons that you can use inside your app. You can find the icons here. You can search by the name, let's say person. If I want a person icon, for example, this one, then I just click, it will copy again the codes. If I right click here and paste, I can paste the codes and the icon will be here for you to use. Okay. If you want to replace one icon that's here inside this container, you will do a little bit different. We are going to uncheck this copy as YAML codes because then when we click, it will copy the image code. Then you just go to this image, go to the image property, delete what's in there and paste. And now the new icon is here. That's it. Now you can use it on your apps. I hope you enjoyed. And if you want to contribute even more to the channel, there is this members area that you can join and become a member. See you in the next videos about the next components. Bye bye.